Hello and welcome to this Pantera Minutes to Proficient video. Today's topic, the teardown of a roller pump. For today's demo, we will be tearing down a Pantera Hypro 7560XL roller pump at our lab located in New Brighton, Minnesota. We hope you enjoy this video. Before we begin, it is important to mention that there are two different rotation options for roller pumps. For this video, we will be working with standard rotation. You can easily spot standard rotation because the pump shaft comes out of the main housing. Standard rotation pumps are coupled to a clockwise drive source, such as a PTO or power takeoff. The other version of this pump is for reverse rotation. For reverse rotation pumps, the shaft would be coming out of the end plate where the bolts are. Reverse rotation pumps operate counterclockwise and are typically found in gas engine applications. The tools and materials required to tear down this pump include a ratchet or torque wrench, a half-inch socket, an arbor press, a mounting fixture or wooden blocks, a flat head screwdriver, and a hammer. To begin, remove the coupler from the pump shaft. Then remove the half-inch bolts from the end plate. Now, let's go to the arbor press and we can push the pump apart. Support the pump ports with a fixture or wooden blocks and press out the shaft. Inspect the pump body for wear. If you detect a lip near the edge of the pump body, then the body is worn and the pump is unrepairable. After inspection, remove the rollers and the rotor. Note, for this video we are tearing down the XL version of this pump, which has a floating rotor design. If we were tearing down a cast iron rotor, the rotor would have a set screw that goes through the rotor and locks down tightly onto the shaft. With the rotor and rollers removed, take out the rotor key. It may need to be tapped out with a screwdriver. Now, remove the bearing cover. Removing this may require some effort, but it can be removed. Next, use the arbor press to press out the shaft. To assist with this task, use one of the end plate bolts we removed earlier. With the shaft removed, inspect the sealing area of the shaft for any pitting, grooves, or damage. If the shaft has damage, the shaft will need to be replaced. This shaft appears to be okay. Here's an example of a shaft that should be replaced. Now we will push out the bearing. Turn the end cover over and use a socket or a fixture that fits on the inner face of the bearing, but that is narrow enough to slip through the casting. Repeat the same steps to remove the bearing from the housing. Now we are ready to remove the seals. To remove the shaft seal, tap it out with a hammer and a screwdriver. Repeat the same step for the end cover. Then remove the O-ring. Finish by inspecting the rollers for wear or scoring. For reference, a new roller is 1.498 inches in length. Any amount of wear will cause fluid to bypass the roller, causing a loss of pressure. Replace is needed. With the pump completely disassembled, we are ready to put it back together. Please see additional videos for the rebuild. Thank you and have a great day.